Okay, so today we are going to talk about what do you do if you get this message come up on your screen in Windows 11 when you start your computer. So it says protect your files and memories by backing up your PC. Back up your PC with Microsoft Cloud Storage. Don't lose your stuff. Easily sync settings across multiple devices. Well, basically, if you click continue here, that big blue nice button that they're trying to tempt you to click, then what it's going to do is it's going to move all of your files, your photos, your music, your videos, all of your stuff into Microsoft's cloud. Now, unless you've got a Microsoft 365 subscription or you've got OneDrive subscription, then you've only got five gigabytes of space to play with before Microsoft start wanting you to cough up money to buy extra space to keep your your files secure. On the other side of the coin, if you move your stuff over to the Microsoft Cloud and anything happens to your cloud storage, it could be that it might be impossible to speak to Microsoft. I know recently quite a few people have been locked out of their Microsoft accounts, specifically their email accounts, when they've tried to get in touch with Microsoft to try and resolve the problem. Microsoft just haven't wanted to know. They have just ignored their emails. So what happens if you trust Microsoft with all your precious memories, your files, your photos, your music, your videos, and then suddenly one day you turn your PC on and the cloud's empty, somebody's hacked into it, or you just can't get into it. You've lost your password. You contact Microsoft and they don't want to know. They just don't want to speak to you. Well, you could end up losing everything. So whilst it seems a good idea to back up your files, and in some cases, yes, it could help, but do you trust Microsoft enough with all of your files to say, yes, you do want them to keep hold of your files, or do you just go out, buy yourself an external hard drive, back up all your stuff to that and leave it around a friend's house for safekeeping? Well, I would say, yes, that is probably a cheaper and an, a more safer option than trusting your files with really a big faceless corporation that you don't know personally. So that's the downside to it. But let's look at the other side of the coin. OK, if you're if your laptop gets stolen or gets lost or basically dies, then all you've got to do is just replace it or get it fixed and then just log into your Microsoft account and all of your stuff comes back. That's absolutely great. It also means that you can look at your files from multiple devices. So if you've got another computer or you've got a phone or a tablet, you can install OneDrive on those and you can still gain access to your files no matter what device you're on. So absolutely great. Now, if you do want to uh, back up your stuff in the cloud, because obviously you feel it's much safer that way, or you feel that you need to access it from other devices, then I'm going to show you something you really should do to ensure that your files are protected. So I would say, like I say, if you're not sure and you think to yourself, no, I don't want to, I've not got enough cloud storage space and I don't want Microsoft backing up my files, I don't want them to take control of my files, then I'd click opt out of backup. If you're happy for Microsoft to take control of your files, you've got enough cloud storage space or you've not that got that many files on your computer that you don't think would fulfill the free five gigabytes you get, then by all means, click continue. The choice is yours. So if you've clicked opt out, it gives you a second explanation of what's going on. And it actually says here, you get free uh, five gigabytes of free cloud storage with your Microsoft account to back up your files. Now, that's not a lot of storage. If you've got a few photos on your system, a bit of music, a few videos, then that's going to be eaten up in next to no time. Just bear that in mind. So I'm going to click, click skip for now. I mean, you can change your mind later on. Don't worry about that. So click skip for now. But if you have said to Microsoft, yes, back up my files, I want to access them elsewhere, then this is something you really should definitely do to make sure that your files are protected. So go down to the bottom right hand corner of the screen near the clock and look for the cloud, the OneDrive cloud. Now, if you don't see it down there, you might have to click on that little arrow pointing upwards and it might well be in there. So left or right click on that and then go up to the settings cog up there in the top right hand corner of the OneDrive box. Left click once on that. 
left click once on settings. And then what you want to do is make sure you've got selected there, sync and backup on the left hand side, and then click on advanced settings and scroll down. And this here, we need to ensure that you've clicked download all files. This means that a copy of your files, as well as being stored in the cloud, they are also stored on your computer, meaning if anything happens to the cloud, if if basically you get locked out of the cloud, at least you've got a backup copy of your files, hopefully on your computer. So click that download all files and there you go. So it tells you how much space it will use on your PC and it will use space on your PC. Um, so, but at least you've got a copy of those files on your PC. So click continue and there you go you'll know that all the files have been downloaded because you'll have a green tick next to the folders. And as long as you've got green ticks next to those, all those folders, then that means that those files, there's a copy of the files on the computer. And for extra security as well, I would say make sure that you back up your OneDrive to either an external hard drive or a USB stick so that you've got a secondary copy. And even better still, if you can, sign up to a cloud service like CrashPlan or Backblaze or something like that, which backs up your files as well. Make sure that if you've, if you've got anything important on your computer, you've got at least three copies of it. One, actually a copy on your computer. Secondly, a copy on an external device, such as an external hard drive or a, a, a USB memory stick. And thirdly, make sure that you've got a copy in the cloud. Now that could be at OneDrive or for extra security, get another backup service, like I say, like CrashPlan or Backblaze or iDrive, something like that to give you that little bit extra security. I know it might sound over the top, but working in this industry, I see people lose precious files and work on a daily basis. And I've seen big corporations, when it comes to recovering those files, I've seen them walk away and just ignore them and not help them, turn a blind eye to them, even though the customer has paid them lots of money to store their files. It's a sad world we live in, but unfortunately, you do have to be very, very cautious when it comes to storing your precious files, photos, music, and videos. I hope you like this video and if you did consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel or if you can't do that then have a look in the description down below. We've got some great links down there for you to various things including my Amazon shop which contains all the things I love at the moment on Amazon, Fire TV sticks, Fire TV cubes and VPNs. Buying, subscribing and donating really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching to bring you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you do see any videos that you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these videos on your social media timelines. You can check me out on X. I'm at CWTEK. You can also check out my website. It's CWTEK.co.uk. Thanks for watching and speak to you again soon.